Hey guys, welcome back. So we're just getting back from the Greenville show and I tell you what, it was a really, really good show. I didn't film near as much as I should have. We were helping the guys run the sawmill and we learned a lot this weekend about old sawmills. So I um, hope you guys enjoy. This show is really good and I didn't get hardly any of it on, on video. I should have videoed a lot more, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like the video and maybe you'll check it out next year. Fairbanks Mars 1929 two-stroke diesel engine. It came from the Santa Fe Levy District, which is Bartelzo, Illinois, and it was straight south of Bartelzo Church, maybe a mile, two miles straight south of there. They put it in in 1931, and they used it in their Levy District to pump out the water when it flooded before the Kaskaskia River was controlled by the dam at Carlisle. 
And what it was, was the pump would have a pickup tube down in the water and an, a discharge tube down in the water, and it was a 52 inch pipe, is what they pumped the water with. And they would draw a vacuum on the pump to pull the air out to prime the pump, then they would start the engine and just start pumping water. And the pump was a propeller type, like a boat propeller type engine. And it would just push the water across the levee and into the floodwater area or the riverside. And they would pump about 45,000 gallons a minute is what the uh, pump was rated for. The pump is still in service and they're still using that pump right now. The engine is a 14 inch bore and a 17 inch stroke. And it is a three cylinder. Um, runs about, we're running about 200 RPM. It's rated for 250. And they said when it was pumping water, they would use approximately seven to eight gallons of fuel an hour. For a diesel engine built in 1930, that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. So, and they would pump, there's years that they didn't pump very often or not at all. And in their years, depending on how things flooded or what, they would pump continuously for maybe a month or so. So it, nobody knows really what kind of hours are actually on the engine. They were in the process of getting rid of the engine or scrapping the engine and they called us up at the museum and donated the engine to us and we removed the engine, disassembled it, removed it and then placed it on the trailer here and just set up the system what we got and what we're using it for. And the pump's still in, they're still using it today so that's the same age then. They said that they, uh, when it arrived at Bartelzo on a train car years ago, they unloaded it and rolled it, pulled it with a tractor and rolled it on logs or timbers down to where they brought it to where it sits at. Wow. So, and it's just a tin, old tin shed out in the middle of the country. I mean, I drove past that probably all my life, a half mile away and never knew it was there. Huh. Well, thanks for showing it to us. You bet. Thanks for coming. So it's air spark for the engine. It's a two stroke diesel engine. And what I'll have to do is open up the compression releases so I can turn the engine over to a starting point to get the number one cylinder past top dead center. And what it'll do is it'll crank on one and three and the engine will actually fire on two. And then once it starts running, I'll switch the lever over, which operates a different set of cams. And then it'll bring in the injection pumps and it'll run on all three cylinders. So I see your, you got your start mark up there. And that mark above it, is that your number one top dead center? Yeah. Okay. I saw it marks three and two. Okay. So that'll be number one to pass top dead center. Okay. I'm thinking it's one, three, and two. Okay. All the car. Everything's ready to go. We should be able to just turn the fuel rack to run. And then I'll open up the air valve here and there'll be a, a lever I'll throw for start. Once the engine fires on two, I'll pull it back to run and then we'll run it and the engine will take off and run from there.
Well, that's going to be it from us. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, it's the American Farm Heritage Museum in Greenville, Illinois. They do a show every year, and they really deserve more attendance. They do a really good job at their show. Uh, it's kid-friendly. They have a lot of activities for kids, and I really hope you check it out next year. So until the next video, I'll see you guys later.